For those of you who follow this little series, you've heard me say repeatedly over the last, I don't know, six or eight months, real estate's on sale, real estate's on sale, don't wait. Well guys, real estate is no longer quite as on sale as it was. Let's take a look at February and see what's kind of transpiring here. So sales volume from January to February is up almost 41%. So we do have seasonal fluctuation, obviously, but that's a, you know, a fairly substantial increase, which is great. Now active listings did not keep up, right? We've had a 10% increase in active listings, a 41% uh, increase in average sales or a number of sales. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the inventory is tightening. In January, we had 3.1 months of standing inventory we sat at 2.4 in February, which is a 22% reduction in the months of inventory. What happens when you have less supply? Prices go up, a 3% increase month over month from, we are kind of running in this, you know, Q4 in the low 630 range, we're now at 651. Moving on and looking at uh, kind of year over year, <clears throat> we know February, well, we know 2023 was historically poor in terms of sales volume, we're up 15.2% February 2024 versus 2023 in terms of sales and 16% in active listings. So this would suggest that both buyers and sellers are returning to the market, which is great news. So, you know, we're flat in terms of months of standing inventory over last February. So what we saw last year is kind of a little bit of an early spring peak and then fall was quite a soft landing. And hey, look at this, volumes back up. That's the, that's the news on this chart. Moving on. This is just a breakdown of how, you know, different market segments are working. And it's quite interesting to see this. So if we look at uh, sale prices, we can see that kind of the entry level stuff is having the greatest gain. Townhomes up a little bit, single family homes are almost level with last year. And look at this months of standing inventory, quite interesting. I think I've made this comment before. There's a lot of activity in what I would refer to as the center of the bell curve, kind of the affordable stuff. So the town, which, you know, is often represented with a townhouse in Ottawa. It's only less than two months of inventory there with an average sale price in the kind of 540 range. Single family homes, 2.7 months, apartments, 2.7 months. So guys, it would appear, you know, there's almost like a groundhog analogy here, I think, <laughs> as, a, as we're looking at an early spring. But both buyers and sellers appear to be returning to the market. The inventory is currently not keeping up with demand and hence we've had a tightening of months of inventory and an increase in prices. My crystal ball prediction is we'll probably see more of the same as we go forward. I would not be surprised if we have additional price increases. Um, in the short term, there seems to be some confidence returning to the market uh, with interest rates and things. And if, if and when, we know it's coming, when we do see Bank of Canada signal a reduction in the overnight rate, I suspect this will heat up even more. So there it is. Let's see what March brings.